So let's chat some random shit, shall we? What do you think? So there's a few things. I mean, this isn't live, it's all recorded. So I want to do more live streams, but it's known what day to do it on. The past two days, I had boy races go past all the time. Because in Dover yesterday, there was protests again. Um, oh, immigration stuff. Just like in 2016. Ah, anyway, enough of that. So, yeah, more live streams. I want to do more. I want to do. I don't know what day's best, unless you can comment, let me know what day's best. Fridays. I don't know if people are going to be in because it's Fridays. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday's the best day for me, but a lot of people live stream on a Sunday. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, but say if you comment, let me know what day's best. I mean, I, I do look at the analytics saying what um, time people are, are generally on to review stuff, but half the time it doesn't bloody work. It says can't produce the data. So I can't go off that half the time. So, COVID, COVID's still pushing along, isn't it? I've got my second job Friday the 4th of June. And. The Indian variant seems to be fluctuating, but hey ho, I doubt we'll get another lockdown. I hope we don't, because a lot of people won't survive it, you know. Anyway, I'm drinking this. I'm not sponsored by Relentless, but if you want to sponsor me, by all means. <laughs> I love this cherry one, it's so nice. So nice. See, where I live, you can't have alcohol. No, I don't drink alcohol anyway. But when you open a can, it sounds like you're putting a can of alcohol, doesn't it? Oh. Anything cherry, I like it. It's nice. Going on to the subject of COVID. I keep seeing signs everywhere on post billboards saying that people are against not believing it's true and the planned passport kind of thing to prove that you're prove that you had the vaccines and prove they haven't got covid um i got nothing against it but some people do they say no it's controlled it's to control people right going back a few years well, the government were trying to impose ID cards on us, uh, but we said no to that. I've got nothing against these things, I've got nothing to hide, I've got no problem. People f tracking me or tracing me, whatever. It's always it's not f fraud identification. I've got nothing to hide, and obviously the people who are against it um, have got their reasons for being against it. But. Look at what we got. Look at the technology we got. It's 2021. Uh, I think I can honestly say for the past 20 years, we've all been tracked to some other way, tracked and traced in other, other technologies rather than the phone. Well, phones are the main one, but before that, CCTV everywhere, you know. So you're not going to get away from this kind of stuff. I think it's just people wanting to do stuff for attention. Yeah, it's bad if it's used in a bad way, you know. I mean, it's like you go on Google and these ad cookies and stuff. They could use the data to send us adverts and stuff. But, you know, let them do that. <laughs> you know, ad blocker, you know. No, I don't use ad blocker, especially being a YouTuber. Yeah, I don't know what your views are on this. I don't know. Comment below. I just want to. This is where I want to natter about stuff that's not vlog related, just life related. But um, go from one extreme to another. Uh, I'll do my quick review of Lucifer series five part two, which I've just finished watching last night. Episode nine. To 16 and what uh, what uh, eight episodes hey eh? wow have you seen it comment let me know uh, all right we'll just follow straight on from the 
episode eight of series five where God appears and you've got Lucifer and his family and it ends. This one carries straight on, which is good. I love the character, the, the God character they designed because he's got flaws and he, you know, it's, it's not perfect, you know. I like his sense of humour, the way he tries to be human, you know, he's acting human and it doesn't seem to work, but it works in a funny way. I love the way that Lucifer has still got his humour and episode 10, which I liked because it was a musical episode, it was a bit strange. It was, wasn't as up to the standard of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the musical episode, but it was good because it had meaning to it. God was uh, making Lucifer's life a bit more interesting by making things song and dance now and again. And of course, Lucifer being a person where if he hears his song, he's got to sing it. <laughs> you know, he does it. But I love the way they implemented it. It's good. You could tell they're trying to copy Buffy, but it didn't do as good, but it worked for the episode. And then the episode where the other copper, uh, when Lucifer played a trick, played the whole episode was just a game. It was so funny. Um, it was a clever episode. And the rest of the series was all right. There's a few episodes that were a bit mm, hit and miss, but. When it come to the end, um, I liked it. It was because apparently they changed the ending because it was supposed to be the, the complete final. But this is series six. It's not an ad. I just want to show that relentless cherry. But yeah. So apart from that, altogether, it was a good ending to series five. And hoping this series six is going to be. Well, it's going to be different. It's going to be a lot different. I just hope they can pull it off. They've filmed already 10 episodes. So I just hope they can pull it off properly. It'd be good. So what I want you to do, if you're watching this, is through the week or for the next day or whatever, if you find anything interesting you want me to talk, chat about, leave a comment below um you can catch me on twitter um you can leave a twi tweet links for me to check stuff out to react to chat about stuff chat about things there's lots and lots to chat about but it's finding the time to do it and narrowing down the chat a bit and say too long but also the good news is my gaming channel has kicked off started two subscribers at this moment in time and I've got three episodes of Sims 4, uh, one episode of Fortnite, one episode of Rocket League. I've got plenty of games I'm going to film, a couple today, just to add to it. It's going to be randomly put on there. I could put them one a week, two a day, one a day, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Depends if I can film the games, you know. But 99% of the games I want to play, I can play, so I'm happy. So the Fortnite was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant and Rocket League are oh, addictive, totally addictive. But yeah, I don't want to get addicted to playing games though, I'm only going to do it, play the games and record it, not play them offline at different times when I can get lost in time. So this way it narrows it down to about half an hour at a time, you know, that kind of thing. Good, another question is if you do follow them, is it best with me on the screen or just my voice in the game so you don't see me? I don't know. I might give it a couple of goes where I'm not showing my face and putting in my voice. It's better editing, <laughs> faster editing. But I don't know what, I've watched many YouTubers playing games, some do, some don't. They both seem to do just as good, viewer wise. So yeah, let me know, comment. Oh, it's a bank holiday weekend, Sunday. Sunday fun day. The sea monkeys have, um, don't know. I don't know if they're alive anymore. I feed them, give a bit of light, blah, blah, blah. And maybe the tank's a bit too big, I don't know. Or not enough oxygen, I don't know. I don't know, but 
I think there's one or two swimming around, so I'll still give it a chance. Uh, but you can catch my updates on on Instagram. Uh, last uh, last time the update was about two weeks ago, <laughs> so I think I need to update on that one. Yeah, check out my gaming channel, vlogging channel. Um, subscribe to if you want to. I'm going to leave this for now. There's lots of my mind to chat about, but I'll spread it out a bit because it's been 10 minutes already. Okay. Chat to you later. To the pips. <laughs>